What? Did I sleepwalk again? Seriously? This is like the tenth time now. Uh, uh, I'm so tired. Shouldn't have stayed up playing Minecraft or Roblox. Uh, this flag. Mom and Dad gave me that when I was like five. Hey, AJ. Yeah, I know, right? I, AJ. Huh? Oh, hang on, guys. What is this, sis? I'm talking to my friends here. <sighs> what do you want to eat? Nothing in the moment, but Rachel's brother said Rachel was looking for you. Okay, thanks, AJ. No problem. Now go away. Sheesh. I'm gonna sheesh. Sheesh, AJ. Hey, AJ. There's Rachel. Knock, knock. Can I come in? I know you're there, Rachel. I see you. I'm just covering myself in. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Army. Hey, Rachel. AJ said you wanted to talk to me about something? Oh, yeah. I found this cool story about this cool abandoned kingdom. Okay, and? Would you like to read it? Um, sure. Cool. It's in my room. Next to my bed. Okay. Can I just go on in here? I really don't understand why she has a door uh, leading to the other side of the room, but uh, never mind. Oh, I remember this painting. Oh, that was a good time when we painted that. Stanley, AJ threw mine away. What? All right, Gadoria. What the heck is this? What is this? Well, I guess I'll sit down and read this. Alright, so Ghidorah, once upon a time, in a land far away, from the modern world, why, a kingdom, the kingdom was named Ghidorah, the kingdom was ruled by a fair king and queen, King Roman and Queen Ghidorah, okay, so I'm guessing that's the name of the kingdom, the Ghidorah, it was named after the queen, I, that's my guess, lately, through the kingdom, had become p very poor, causing rats to run through the streets and diseases. The king and queen knew they must do something about this. So, they had some guards journey outside of the kingdom walls to try to find something to help the c c citizens. Sheesh, I can't read today, I just don't know why. After seven days of looking, the guards, who were tired and hungry, stumbled upon a small cabin in the woods. Thinking no one lived there, the guards went inside. Little did they know that a shadow lurked outside. The guards looked around the small cabin, finding nothing but a single bed, a stove, and a rocking chair. Until one of the guards found a hidden lever underneath the bed. Looking around, he noticed all the guards had disappeared. So he flipped the lever, and a trapdoor opened underneath the bed. Climbing, taking out his sword, he climbed into the space. Underneath the trapdoor, what he found surprised him. A boiling pot filled with an unknown substance, potions lining the walls, and blood flowing underneath the metal door. But behind the metal door were the bodies of his comrades. What are you doing here, young one? The guard turned around to see an older woman. Oh, I am dearly sorry. Me and my comrades thought no one lived here. The woman stares at him. Well, someone does. Is there anything I can do for you? The guard shakes his head. My comrades and I were just looking for something... To help our kingdom. The woman's eyes lightened up. Well, maybe I can help you. The guard shakes his head. I'm sorry, miss, but I highly doubt you will be able to help. The woman smiles. Oh, but I can help. Well, you see, I'm a witch. The guard's eyes were widen. So, you can possibly help us with the disease? The witch nods. But for a price. The guards narrows his eyes. What price will that be exactly? 
The woman looks around, then back at the garden. A flower that only grows in the palace gardens. The girl looks confused. A random flower? The woman shakes her head. No, the flower of everlasting life. The guard's eyes wide. I don't know if the king will give you that. It could be very destructive if it falls into the wrong hands. The woman nods. I want to make a potion out of it to save my daughter. The guard thinks and nods. All right, I will get you that flower. Little did the guard know, the woman had no daughter, completely forgetting his missing comrades. She leads the witch to the palace where she meets the king and queen. Wait a minute, this is missing. But didn't it say the bodies of... Where is it? It says the bodies were behind the, the bodies. Where, where is it? So technically the guards weren't missing. They were just dead. Yeah, underneath the metal door, behind the metal door were the bodies of his comrades. So technically they weren't missing. They're, they're just, they're dead. I don't know why the story says it, but it doesn't matter. The guard does not tell the king and queen of the witch's demands, only that she wanted to help. The witch cast a spell on the kingdom to kill off diseases and the rats. The kingdom became great again after a while. Diseases were gone, probably had disappeared, since people could work. The guard had forgotten the woman's request, causing the woman to become filled with anger. A year passes by the kingdom is increasing in size. No disease has become has been recorded since last year until there was a festival. Everyone was dancing, having fun, then a scream. People turned towards the scream and were shocked. Fifteen people had dropped dead. A puff of smoke surrounded the bodies and a witch appeared. She walks through the bodies with a staff in her hand. People stare at her, shocked. The guard stands next to the queen, protecting her. The door is suddenly burst open. I save your kingdom, and all, and I only ask for one thing. Since you never paid me, all of you will die. No one knows if anyone survived. The kingdom disappeared, never to be seen What?